Hello and welcome to Riders of Icarus. My name is Mr. Gruffle. Joining me as always is Prairie Lily. Today we're diving into this game. It's from 2016. Uh, it's another fancy Korean made game. Uh, it's brought to us by Nexon Games. You gonna say hello? Hey. Oh, an enthusiastic welcome. Now, just to get you a bit excited, what if I said there was a game you could run about, tame all the crazed beasts and then ride them about the wilds? Does that not sound amazing? That does sound amazing. What if I then disappointed you by saying it's probably all behind some great gambling paywall of 10% chance, but drink this potion for a 40% chance? I would have to ask you if this was made by the same people who made Vindictus. <laughs> it is, it is. Well, despite the trepidations we have, I mean, it sounds like an amazing concept. It sounds like what I would play for a game. However, just free-to-play garbage shop lumped into it. Ugh! Shall we check it out? Oh, the music is deafening. Um, I despise games where they don't let you uh, change your video settings or your audio settings before you get in. I had to dive in and go through change my video settings before we started recording so I have a character, but he's he's not really a character. <laughs> I just clicked next, 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 next and gave him a silly name. Was it Gruffle? It was not Gruffle. Gruffle's a champion name. Uh, you, get out of my land. Ah, uh, confirm. Restore character. Coward's way out. Uh, let's create. <laughs> Yay! Oh, promising start. Oh, we have the trickster. It looks like some filthy midget. <laughs> the trickster has a natural talent for summoning helpful grass, flowers, and dolls with her wand and teddy bear. Okay. Okay. That sounds amazing. Is that what you're playing? That sounds Absolutely like you. Absolutely not. But the next one... The next one. Ranger. Difficulty very hard. That is unusual for that, a, yeah. a game. Usually a ranger is just stand at the back and fire arrows at things. It's the class I always expect everyone to go in every game if they don't <laughs> know how to play the game. Absolutely. Uh, magnificent. Uh, what else we got? Oh, Chopping Man. Uh, always a crowd favourite. Uh, shield Blocking Man. Yeah, he don't even need to read these. Uh, Jewel Wield Man. Yeah. Cleric. Fantastic. And I suppose it's a DPS caster. Uh, magnificent. Well, I'm going to play the trickster then, seeing I like playing the most ridiculous thing in a race class combination. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, can I be a bloke, though? Uh, a uh, apparently the trickster cannot be a bloke. <laughs> Female only. Yay! I don't think any of the other classes were race restricted. No, they were not. Ah, uh, that's really, really bizarre. I always find that really weird that um, there's no males of the species. How are they going to reproduce? Is I think they're just a fairy creature. They're like born out of pollinated flowers. I hope they have a, like a symbiotic relationship with the animals. And that was once a real bear, but she's drained all the life from it. Anyway, shall we dive in? I'm going to be a trickster. It's going to be magnificent. I'm going to be a priest. It's going to be better. <laughs> uh, character customization. Let's have a look. <laughs> the state of that thing. Uh, they all seem to have massive hips. Alright, start off with this. Uh, face. I have to say, I'm not impressed with this. I want crazy slides and things. Uh, and they all look really bizarre. <laughs> There's a monstrous way it morphs in front here. Uh, did you click on custom to play with your crazy sliders? What? Where's that? When you clicked on face, it has your regular options and then the bottom. Oh, yeah. crazy sliders! Magnificent. They're gonna be here all day now. Could have got away with a five minute character creation. Uh, instead, well, my freaks changed when I wasn't looking there. Uh, magnificent. I'm just trying to find the best looking face and we'll just start there. Uh, oh, this one, with <laughs> crazed, massive eyes. Uh, do I want to go a giant head one? I think we might. Um, I think this game might might be a game of the freak. Actually, the waist was alright, it's like really weird hips. Uh, but get in proportion, love. That's nowhere near proportion. Oh, I think mine's got a bit anorexic at the moment. Uh, how are we going to fix that? 
Uh, I should just like to give ham button. <laughs> there it is. There we go. So give ham. Uh, she looks right bony through your collarbones. Everything is sticking out. Uh, I can't even see your feet. I mean, what sort of proportions are these? These are waist. Look at this. Maybe it's mostly dress. Well, you can you can see the calf comes up here. She must have like the three times as much hip as needed. Uh, but I, I suppose it's some fancy creature. How's yours? So far, so good. Oh, but I mean, do you have giant massive hips? Like, no, you're you're a normally proportioned thing. It's mostly this like beastie race. I had a couple of preset options where my hips were definitely, or at least the the thighs were definitely a bit chunky on top. Uh, uh, the thighs are all right. Uh, it's just, just the hips themselves. It's so bizarrely proportioned. Can I not, in fact, play this race? I'll try and make a proper character. Uh, smaller head. Why did you change my feet to just my height? It's bizarre. Are you saying you only toes or something? Like you've got ridiculous wooden shoes on. Uh, look at that, it makes you giant. But your legs don't seem to bend like a human's would. I think she's modelled after some mythical animal creature. Uh, uh, that's enough of that, let's get into the nitty gritty of it. Uh, there we go, we'll suck that in. Uh, chin, can we make it less pointy? Round off the face a bit. Bring the cheeks in. Uh, sure, you look a bit like Skeletor. Well, oh, every time you adjust eyes in the game, you always think you're more cross-eyed than you are. It is she bizarrely cross-eyed? A little bit. Is she? Everything about her is... Bizarre. I don't know. Yeah. Mmm. She definitely looks like she belongs in a Tim Burton film. I hate games where they allow to move the slides so they make sort of holes in the mesh like this. Uh, but what I really want to do is fix your mouth because it looks horrendously weird. Top tilt, can we go up? Let's have a little sort of like pointy piggy nose. Uh, tip size. The flare. Uh, just looking vaguely humid. I think we too much tilt though. Let's uh, rotate your nose down a bit. Uh, right, the mouth. This is this is my uh, biggest hate so far. I've been the mouths and the characters. The mouth on this one definitely has a lot less options. Mine barely seem to change with the five options given. I can't believe it can't be a bloke. It's going to be like a little fairy bloke. <laughs> but no. Stuck with being the lady. Oh, monstrous antennas. Some crazed ant. Uh, oh, massive wings as well. Oh, God, her mouth looks disastrous. Oh, it's going to clip at her wings like no one's business. I right, have to go for the boy haircut. I've got no choice of, like, highlights in the hair. Terrible. Antenna, I like those. Uh, no, don't like the glowing. Don't like flowers. Don't like feathers. Definitely don't like no antennas. We have the big fluffy ones. But no colour options again. Poor. Ah. Okay, I think they're the best wings. 
I've just been through and adjusted all this and something changed it. Ooh, I hate that. Uh, skin chunk. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just get things that look funny. Uh, I don't know, some eyeshadow options. See if we can punk this fairy up a bit. That looks disastrous, love. Uh, uh, yeah, Asian games, they, they always have, seem to have these weird, crazy pupils. I think pupil options is good. You, I realize you're not going to notice them, but what a simple little thing to add to... Sort of a better mouth. Um, huge lips on them all. And no, uh, no option for a blue... Lipstick. That's bizarre. How am I going to colour coordinate? I have to go dark to match the eyeshadow, but uh, even that's not dark enough. These are all very bizarre colours. Uh, at least that looks somewhat natural. For her race, she's quite adorable. I don't want adorable, I want sexy. I want a wild night on the town girl, not a not a sit at home and read little woman. I think we'd have to go for some clippy hair because I can't, can't find anything that looks right. I think that's probably going to be about the best of them. Uh, I'm still really worried about my hips though. Can I go out and pop it with these? No, uh, no, I'm not doing the hair either. That's the biggest problem I heard because my character is finding the right haircut. There's definitely an attempt for a lot of different haircuts, but they all look like not only a wig, but a plastic wig. Uh, I'm not very happy with my dress colour. They, I mean, I'd love to start in something like that. Why can't that be my starting outfit? Hmm. How magnificent would that be? Then I could colour coordinate to what I know I'm going to be wearing. <laughs> what, what if, if they're going to give me something like this, and then at the end you know, I'm wearing a bright red that's going to clash with my hair, I'm going to need to buy a hair voucher or whatever you need to change your hair. <laughs> Even as uh, even if they offer that function, I mean, what if they give me a helmet and my antlers stick out over it? So I have to go for the no antler option for the end game. It would be very sad to go with the no antler option. And that's as big as my wings can be. The basic proportions of this creature—that thing would never ever take flight. It's magical. Let's not obey the laws of physics. No, the. Exactly not what magic would do. Why, your wings should be up here, down to there. Magnificent full body length wings. I don't know why you'd have these little things tucked away. Ah, uh, anyway. Character name. That's what I'm going to struggle with next. I need something ridiculous. Uh... Oh, caps lock. Why am I modeling me? There we go. Name my character, something fantastic for the adventure. The name is available. Was that was that your first first attempt at a name? It was Yes. It and gone, so is mine. Are we ready? Creating? Yes. Loving in? Magnificent. I don't like my lips though. Oh <laughs> I'm going in anyway. Um, I have learned my lesson since last time I really enjoyed and continued to play a game. I made a ridiculous looking character that I have since regretted on multiple occasions. So, huh, have you? Yeah, so I'm sticking more with my standard. Hmm. Speaking of standard, when you hit correct, you get an option to change controls. Uh, choose a target with your cursor. Uh, that you mean the tab. Uh, there we go. Slick standard mode. The shaling I close friends of Princess Lania. 
hope we don't start in separate areas. I have no idea why that didn't even cross my mind this time. I think it's because it wasn't faction-based. We we discuss it and concern ourselves with it every game, and it didn't even... Mm. Nothing. Huh. Stuck in terrain? Use your recall stone to escape. <laughs> yes. First load screen. I really hope this is the first load screen for everybody. Everybody who ever starts this game. The developers are assuming they get stuck in the ground. Ah, high hopes for the game. I've loaded. I'm having a cut scene. <laughs> you don't even know where to go with that, eh? This is totally me. This, this is exactly the world I want to play. This is like a flying what? Rhinoceros unicorn? She was mushy munching a hot dog? She's all, I am pretty. Oh, so pretty. I hope all these people get butchered and we start the adventure looking for vengeance. Oh, fire breathing dragons <laughs> burn everything. <laughs> like angelic ram thing. You little baby. Are you jealous? Halo that, sheep. that my cutscene's way better oh, than yours. You're not even watching yours. So once again, we have a minimal design interface. It's far better than what we got in uh, Blade and Soul. Is that the one that I got real angry at? Yes. I already tried to block it from my mind. Yes. Uh. Let's have a look. Can we remove half the stuff? Uh, settings. Customize UI. We'll have a look at this. Uh, news. Can I just delete you? Ugh, once again, I can't find the delete off my bar. Uh, why I would ever want to know UTC time is quite beyond me. Once again, there doesn't seem to be able to remove UI elements. Are you often doing things, are you? Oh, yeah. I'm escaping a prison. I'm beating down the rhino guards. I feel like I'm playing in, like, the old Robin Hood animated Disney movie. It's awesome. Do you? The, the NPC had to... I had to grab a weapon, and then my little NPC friend actually had to grab a weapon, too. Didn't have to magically have him her weapon. I'm sorry. I failed. Rondo took her. What's a Rondo? He took my princess. Ah, mine too. <laughs> I just like, he's starting a collection. Just like that, we're on the same story. We were taking the princess to a prophet. She was supposed to study Alora's relic to unlock its powers. The rain should have masked our tracks, but the Frost Guard knew exactly where we were. see their concentration on mounts right off the bat, hey? Yes! That is the big selling point of this game. Hopefully it's not locked behind some grubby paywall. If the game's fun, I can tame some things, it could be a game I'd play. Did they just edit him saying bastards? Well, I think they cut it down to singular, this filthy bastard. Not S. Mine, he said something like bass, and the rest was like nothing. This is the power you sold yourself for. 
Oh, it looks like a bargain. <laughs> I'll sell myself for that power as well. Rondo, stay away from the princess. That's a Rondo. <laughs> stay down, Torton. I'll be sure to make note of your bravery. So don't even try to move your lips when you talk. That was just embarrassing. Oh, they cut the S again off the end of the word. Come, princess. We have business. Ah, uh, so he was taking her to a profit. He's going to sell her for a profit. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, but you did let her take her. You clearly didn't try. You're still alive. You, sir, are a failure. Looking around. Use your mouse to look around. Ah, uh, yeah. Or use Q and A. Look at that. G'day, mate. Tortoise, you're safe. Have you heard the news? He was there. Quart! Uh, zooming it out. No, right, right, I've zoomed it out. What's next? Choose a weapon from the stand on this one. That seems appropriate. Let's get started. Yeah, magic. Uh, it's probably best for Rena to join. Okay. Training combat. Let's go. Have you already went through the torture chamber in all of this? I, I've had no torture chamber. This is, this is my training. Uh, we're going on a... It's your fluffy little training. Enemies are already closing in. We need backup. I don't know what you want from me. Uh, once again, they put all these spell things on my bar, I don't know what any of them do. One. What's this? Seriously, I've went to the torture tra chamber, like the Hall of Agony, and you're fighting pixies. Uh, amazing. Okay, so what these things actually do? Attack enemy wand. Create adorable hearts full of love. Perform a dance with a doll to express your happiness. Use thereby power of light and nature. Your mounts, but I don't get to pick. Using Dalek hearts against enemies suffered by grass allergy will grant nearby allies cheerful for a minute. Sounds amazing. I love making people cheerful. Uh, something isn't right. Uh, we're probably going to fight some monster that you had to call a boss monster. Come on, get on with it. On with it, buddy. I've played other games, I know how training works. Uh, let's get drunk and check out the temple courtyard. Come on. What? Who said that? Uh, use your unique shaling skills. Uh, is that a shaling? Oh, those cars there, I thought they meant they were on his back, that's probably going to target it. Yeah. Why does he have a giant cask on his back? He likes to drink. Oh. Ah, the feeder with the teddy bear. Closing victory. 
Let's get all up in the booze. No. Just have the to get splash. it. Ah, oh, it's hurry, hurry indeed. Oh, so far the combat's not too stale. I can move about, smack and cast at things. Do you have a treasure? No. I believe they're having a plot while I um, try and get around this red barrier. Uh, mount the Poyo! A <laughs> shell! And we're away. Magnificent. Oh, we stopped. While flying forward. Whoa, we're off. Uh, magnificent. See, so that's I find to be quite a good just a concept. Something a bit different to an MMO is the. Flying about, although if it means just flying over everything, you don't get to actually do anything. Might be a fan of it, but if it's all about the sort of mounted combat and things, whether it be ground mounted or air mounted combat, I think it would be quite an interesting take. Okay, okay, I'm, try I'm trying to talk to you, mate. What next? It's another one of these games. The talking to people is infuriating. You want to find the princess, don't you? No. Okay, you can mine ore by approaching an ore node and pressing the F key. The more you mine, the greater your gathering percentage you grows. Uh, I really don't like this in games. I know it's easy and it saves you having to write quests and stuff, but it's friggin' boring. If you want us to collect ore and stuff, give us like rock monsters and things made. If we kill the rock monster, it drops it as loot. We don't want to have to stop and pick up rocks and things. It's just an aggravating concept that's made its way into games. Hello. <laughs> of your ship? Of my ship, yeah. Are you a freaking alien? No, when we were escaping, we were all aboard. Oh, not, not, not. An airship. An airship. Not, not a spaceship. No. And we were escaping the prison that, um,. That gentleman put us in. And I think that we managed to crash and land on a bunch of people because I'm running around helping the wounded and healing them, but they're not people that were with us. I think that they're a bunch of woodcutters that I actually hurt by running my airship into them. Oops. Oh, let's have a look at the store. Right, so I'm sitting here at the store trying to work out how to buy points. And? I can't work out how to buy points. Yeah, so looking through the store here, you need to buy uh, stones to upgrade weapons by the look of it. But we don't know if that's just a shortcut. Or whether it drops in-game or is a mandatory purchase. Or a super rare in-game. I don't mind grinding for my gear if I'm not going to put the money into it. And I don't mind my friends if if they can't play as much as I can, or vice versa. I don't mind them throwing a little extra money at it to keep up. Yes. Like, being able to choose between the two is just fine. But if it's a mandatory purchase, yeah. Right. I mean, I always support a game I enjoy. Uh, you can use tempering stones to temper your equipment. If the tempering stone is weak compared to the equipment, there's a chance the process will fail. Uh, which is what this looks like, is the upgrading gear via rune stones that you can buy at the store. Ah, oh, I'm stuck in the tutorial. <laughs> Let's be dog. Click. Fly. Well, if it makes you feel better, yes. I've easily been playing as hard as you have. In fact, I think I've stopped less. Yes. And 
you're more than twice my level. I don't know what's giving you... Oh, you know what it might be? What? I'm a champion of online gaming. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yep, might be that. Use the party board to recruit party members. I think not. I'll group with my friends. Thank you very much, game. <gasps> you have entered a solo story instance. Oops. Oh my god. What did you do? <laughs> I walked up to the beautiful horse that I was supposed to be taming and killed it. I <laughs> 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 put out this terrible death cry from the ground. <laughs> I was sat there over it like it was like a beautiful unicorn and I ran up and I... I don't know. <laughs> well, so far again, the game plays like a single-player game, doesn't it? Well, I, I really think it's too early to tell. Do you? I do. I would love to get to group you, but once again, starting around in different areas of the world, with no indication of how long it'll ever take to group with someone. Did you get yourself a mount yet? I did. You ride all about the place? It's just way faster than walking? I have rode a bit. Good. I don't like having to keep holding down space to sprint. Oh, this incompetent woman fly around. Uh, you can't say collide with anything when you're flying through the air on a flying beast. I would love to come in here, slam into the wall, my beast collapses and so do I, fall to the ground and die. Okay, actually looks quite nice when you're up above it all. Flying around. Ah, committed for a landing. Right in the face. <laughs> You've got him now. I, I really haven't done anything to be quite honest. I've walked around yammered to a lot of people. I suppose that's what you do at the start of a game. I can look quite forward to getting out of the world, seeing what's going on. See, and I've been constantly fighting, constantly. See, I've done India. Getting all this stuff done. Flown around the city. And I'm still level four. Are you? Yeah. Whereas me, I am magnificent level. Ah, nine. But so far, I'm actually quite enjoying this. I mean, it plays right. It's fun and quick. The premise is good. Uh, whether or not the game will actually play out that as a cost-efficient and worthwhile venture is yet to be seen. Out of everything we've played, I was expecting the least from this one. Really? Yeah, I, well, Vindictus. Vindictus? I, I can sum it up in one word. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm rather enjoying myself, even not having group with you yet. Yes. The combat could be a little bit faster. A little bit faster. But I can still move around. I still feel like it's making a difference. I'm not just face tanking everything no matter what class I am. So my mount has his own hit point bar. I'm wondering yeah. what will happen if I actually get him killed. I don't know. Do I just resummon him? Have you died? Magical no matter what. It'd be nice if they like died, wouldn't it? But then, once again, if they target into their pay for system, people will be pretty angry if you had to pay for a chance to tame a great mighty dragon and then it just died. I had well, to pay another thirty dollars at the store to get there. Yeah, it would have to be a more permanent. See, that's why I can't understand why a game like this isn't subscription based. It'd be magnificent. Just going out, taming great big animals to ride about on, have quests, take them into battle. If they die, they die. Imagine a raid against a giant raid boss with everyone with their like pet dragons and stuff flying about, and then your dragon dies, ruined by the boss. Special tank and pets and fast moving pets. Oh, it'd be magnificent, but not some sort of pay to win horror show. Oh, it got me good. I'm counting on you and Maria. I think there are some benefits to werewolves. starting out what as a free-to-play game, or at least boss, having the first handful of levels on, as a go-ahead-and-have-a-trial period. Yep. I'd much rather give something like this a try to level 10. I don't even know what max you level is, but let's just assume it's Alora about the same path. as everything. 
So give it a try at a level 10 or level 20, whatever they feel like giving you before paying for the full game. That's right. I think if this had a subscription model, I think I'd probably be in. But seeing as it doesn't, it's just got some horror show store. It's just something I'm probably not ever going to play. Or might play for a little bit, get to max level, and then probably chuck it aside. I really need to determine how much of a horror show store it is. Because there's so many people who will complain that it's pay to win until they're blue in the face just because you can speed yourself up a little bit. Yes. I mean, I've, I've played games that have absolutely no pay to win components and then still the forms will be filled with and as soon as they add one new thing to the store, which could even be a costume for that matter, <laughs> people will go off about how the game is going further and further into into pay to win because they, they can't have everything they want at the drop of a hat. For free, yes. Well, yeah, yeah, either put some money into it or put your time into it. Yes, but it's a lot of these games coming out of Asia are very much, if you want your in-game gear, you have to pay X amount for gems per level. Yes, oh, and that is definitely a problem. Oh, I can't ride a spider. Cannot be tamed. It's garbage. Ah, uh, please. Set the... Confirm. It appears that you need currency to change the name of your pet. Do I? Mm hmm. That seems fine to me. It's not. I mean, it's cute, but it's not. Really important that your caribou not be a caribou, right? Why did it cancel? I will watch out for werewolves, mate, but I really want to work out what to do with this thing. Seal it. Was it because I was riding him? <gasps> it was. Okay, okay, I've sealed him. Well, what can I do with this sealed reindeer? Apparently you can like eat him to get his power or something. <laughs> Plus 25 mana. Let's tear up this guy. Come on, come on. Oh, get horsed. Like, what's it? Hey, you're mine. Oh, no, you know, I have to turn you into like rock form or something. Get off. Firm. Yes! That's, that's worse than a normal one. Terrible. Uh, I don't know what it is about all these Korean games, but you bring up your dialogue like this, so you hit confirm that you've done the quest, mm -hmm. and it takes you out of it because you haven't clicked on the quest, hit a random F button. I don't know what the Kabimis devices do, but we better smash them just to be safe. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Good. And you were like, no, it's going to be a horror show, weren't you? Yeah, for the most part. I actually think it's quite good. I like the idea of having different all sorts of different animals that you can use. and So long as it's just not an aesthetic different thing to fly about on, but there's actually a, a way to go to war with your animals. I think it'd be like a really fun, enjoyable game. The only thing I'm disappointed about so far is I can't ride the giant spiders over there. I look like magnificent mounts for my little fairy to ride about on, but no. And then if each creature gets its own set of combat abilities as well, as it levels up. My god, what a game that would be. So level 10. Level 12 for yourself. Yes. Three and a half hours. And, and we, we can finally group. We finally got to the same area. 
three and a half hours is a long, long time in a multiplayer game to actually play with people. But it really depends how much you're enjoying it. And you weren't enjoying it, were you? I wasn't. I felt like I was running in and out of this war camp. I mean, at least I wasn't collecting a whole lot of nonsense and I was actually doing things for the war effort, but it was... It wasn't spectacular. Um, my character concept seemed okay. I used skills that created these moats, and then when I built up three of them, I could use them for my more powerful skills. Skills that almost felt too powerful for what I was running around doing. And if I walked up to what was supposedly a boss and had all my moats charged, I one-shotted him every time. Yes, I, I found myself to be quite powerful as well. I mean, there hasn't really been any challenging combat after even running about mashing buttons and having a bit of a laugh because I was quite enjoying the game. But once I had stopped and thought about it, I realised the quests are awful. I'm really, I'm really not enjoying them. It's very much the walk over there and pick up this thing and stroll back. Yeah, I pretty much realised that right off the bat. You see, I was blinded by the promise of exciting combat and things with my pets. And I can't see from my skills how my character is going to be any different than any other priest out there. Well, that's that's what I got to, too, once we looked through the skills. and there's, I saw the skills for your mounts, and I got excited. Uh, but then reading through them, it's just a bunch of generic skills. It doesn't look to be any way to modify them. Nope. To enhance one over the other. No, there's no enough, choices, no pros and cons, no selection, no benefits. Enough of a taskbar that we could pretty much take all of them. So it's not like one of those games that, yes, they own, they give you generic skills, but you only have, you're designed to use a five slot bar, and therefore you are different because your choices. Yes, yes, there's a look at any of that. Um... And yes, I was looking forward to the mounts and getting into it for the game. I, I was thinking that you'd be able to sort of train your animal in a range of skills um, so that if you were, say, tanking for the raid, uh, you could get yourself a big heavy bear or something. You could ride slowly about on a bear in big heavy armour. Uh, and you'd be able to level up your bear and get like a charge and all sorts of mounted combat and things, but uh, it's not going that way, I don't think. Um... Uh, then I had the thought of what I would want from a game where you're taming mounts and that. I thought maybe an off tank where I could fly about on a Pegasus or something. Uh, taunt the archers down below that spawn so that the main group could uh, fight the big boss. You know, maybe have an archer flying around on a mounted thing firing down or another archer on the ground sort of on a slower, heavier thing working like a big sort of turret tank just firing away. Big, heavy, slow volleys. And that's what I want from a game focusing on mounts in an MMO setting. I just don't think the generic go out there and collect the horse. It's a horse. You know, now I can shoot off my horse. Is I couldn't really successfully have any combat off of my mount. <laughs> no, I don't think it is what either of us are looking for. I want it to be an integral part of the combat, not generic MMO combat where you also get a horse to ride around on. I think they took the fact that people in these games often love collecting and love collecting to such an extreme extent and they made the game based around mounts. Yes, well it just seems it's not an actual combat mount, it's just a sort of decorative thing you can wander about with. They do have... You have some combat abilities, but I mean, it's not you know, choice of skills to make your pet unique and different yeah. and to customise the way you use your pet in combat. No, I'm seeing a few people run around uh, tonight, but... Yesterday I saw no one. <laughs> three and a half hours and I saw one other player character. It's the chat channel, your, your screen has just recently said, if it's too busy, go to another channel. This is one of the few games where we didn't go out of our way to shut off all of that. Yeah, there, there's been nothing said in chat Not since I've been on. Word. Not a word yesterday, not a word today. It's very, very dead. The storyline itself, I'm sure exists, but what is it you're always saying? That things don't engage you? Yes. I didn't at remotely find that this one engaged me. The very beginning, 
where we were breaking out of the castle, taking off, crashing. My story didn't have any of that. That was really good. Uh, my story involved, ooh, I'm a fairy, let's go see the king or something. That was the entire plot of the game. Uh, then we came here and we fight the werewolves. I was a lot, had a lot more before I ended up at the king. Yes, it seemed like you actually had things to do. Uh. Oh, I was constantly running back and forth. I. It seemed like I easily did twice as much as you to get where you were at two levels less. I feel like maybe they decided when they came up with the, the trickster, because that is the new one, right? Uh, yes, I believe this was added in some expansion patch thing. It seems like they may have decided that uh, it had taken too long. People are bored with running the yeah, same area over and over. It's all going to be largely for people who've already played, and therefore... Let's quicken this up a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with that. Which I find is one of the big problems with these type of games, is you have the same experience on the characters regardless of what you choose or build, or it all links together into one generic story. Oh, you're supposed to uh, tame him, turn him into a pet, and then turn him into a rock. Why, Why would I do that? What? Because the, the animals are your playthings. You just trap their spirits in rock to make your gear stronger or something. So you trap his stone, his soul in the stone, and then you, like, wear him to show off that you've murdered this reindeer thing. Uh, but don't put it in your gear yet. Uh, hand in your quest first. Understood. Be polite. You never know when you'll need someone's help. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I wonder if they continue like that when you're at higher levels. I'm sure you can shut them off. Oh, uh, so I, but, uh, I think everyone should have that one on by default every two minutes. I think the people who are going to randomly be dicks for no reason or would just be encouraged by that. Yep, they'll be all like, stupid game, you're not my mother. See, and then the game needs to be able to monitor your microphone and you say something like that and switch it off and go, you've been banned. <laughs> God, I would love that. <laughs> like me, you're not enjoying this game. We'll uninstall it from your system here. Thanks. Oh, How good would that be? game, nice. Well, it's not that I'm not enjoying it. It's just it's not what I wanted. You were and I was, enjoying it. I was really into it until you I stopped were, and thought about it. And then it's like, no. You were out over it. You were what? like, yeah, yeah, let's play more of that. Yeah, let's do this again tomorrow. I'm like, really? No, oh, really? Well, there, and I am awesome. I mean, the, char the character's fairly fun to play. It flies about. Yeah. And then I could, like, cast spells, wake them with my teddy bear. And then I was riding animals, going to ride them into combat and stuff, but it's it's not going to do what I want it to do. It's not the type of combat that I'm going to get from this game. The theory behind the casting for the priest, I quite enjoy. I like the idea of I'm building up my resource. Maybe I can pick my skills that allow me to build it up in the way that I prefer. But uh, yeah, it's not actually turning out that way. No, it's just another generic, here's all your skills. And... I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. I mean, people in this day and age aren't confused by a selection of skills to choose from. Hitting double digits and not having a single fight that even made me consider reading my, what my skills do. Or choice. Choice for your character. I mean... I've had no choice at all. I mean, I've picked up three new dresses, and they're all exactly the same. Hmm. That's, that's I think just... I changed slightly. Well, actually, I had some new shoes at one point, but then I had other shoes that were exactly the same. It's just the game of hover over it, is this better or higher? Yes, put it on. I mean, there's no really assessing skills or anything. It's just... I mean, there might be, like, four dress types for this... Well, what am I, a trickster? Yes. Am I going to wear dress one, dress two, dress three, dress four? It probably won't matter at end game because it's probably magical dress five that you wear anyway. I very much enjoy games that have skins for that sort of thing. Now, this game has skins for your animals. 
And by the sounds of it, a fair bit. Well, yes. It, I mean, it should do. I, but yeah, it's just not the type of game I want to play. It's not going to do what I want it to do for a familiar combat summoning game. I want to be able to fully customise my bear to roar and taunt things uh, so I can be on my bear and it can taunt things to me. Or I could leap off my bear and hit away from my bear. The AI seizes control of the bear and the bear taunts and roars or whatever it's set to do. And the same for everyone so that your, what's that, familiar, just call it pet, is the uh, an integral part of your, your character and its leveling process. And then when you're in a party, it's an integral part of the party rather than just being something everyone rides around on. I mean, the game's not terrible. It's a game I could play if I had absolutely nothing else to play. But it's still not what I want from MMO, if there was absolutely nothing to play. It, it's really not terrible. I'd, I'd rather collect mounts than craft. Or at least... Oh, I've got all this crafting in the game I can't even look at. Ugh. I'd rather collect mounts than... Chop wood, I should say. Uh, I don't so mind crafting nearly as much as you do. I, I, I find it an abysmal aspect of the modern MMO is just this insistence that everyone has a job and be an adventurer. Being an adventurer should be the job. If it's not, it's just Minecraft, which I don't want to play. Aim shot, crossbow attack, crippling shot, storm shot. Yeah, it looks like that's pretty much all you'll be able to do. Yes, well which mounted. is not what I want. I want... Um, And, uh, as I said, a um, a proper combat system. You know, so you can take your role as DPS, tank, healer, whatever, and expand and change the way in which you accomplish that task by clever use of pets. Either if you're a lightly armoured character having a heavily armoured mount, which adds to your combined health, or by um, having a lightly fast moving pet for more evasion more, more, more sort of evasion or evasion tanking or yeah. a really heavy pet to go with your really heavy character to go in and tank a raid boss mm -hmm. I just don't think they're going to have the variation or the system in place to customise your pets to allow for that sort of thing alright so any final thoughts on the game I mean I quite liked it at first I thought about it looked at what it was going to do and then ruled it out because it's not what I wanted to do. It's not my dream MMO that I thought it was going to be. Well, I went into it with very low expectations due to Vindictus, which was unfair to the game. It is so much better than that. Far superior in every way. But, still not a game you'd play. It, it wasn't engaging for me right from... After about 10 minutes in, I was like, eh. You've seen this quest before. And yeah. You've seen the story it's before. It's a very generic world. It is. It doesn't draw me in at all. And, and it, I said the only thing I wanted was the pets. It looked like there was a pile of the, these airships and a pile of these floating realms everywhere. I'll, I'll cut to the opening scene with the whale. That looked, that looked exciting. That looked like an exciting world. But here, we've just got the same dreary old mountains. I haven't even seen something like that in the sky since we've been on the ground. No. It has been complete ground travel. Now, that might change. Well, oh, well we've got a flying bird. You were taking yeah. us out for a bird. I flew around for a bit, but I can't fly around here because apparently it's too high. So I'm not in a mood where I'm going to push onto it because the game itself doesn't grab me. And after the initial shock of, yes, you can train all the wild beasts you see, how awesome is that? You start training them, look at what you can actually do with them, and you can't do much. Which I find to be immensely disappointing. It's pretty enough. Uh, character creation had reasonable amount of options, though it did. I wasn't impressed by certain things. Like you said, our outfits barely seem to change, no matter what we do. Our, the hair looked plastic, no matter what. I mean, that's supposed to be a braid in my hair that you're looking at right now, and it's... I don't, I don't even know. You also got a weird sort of glowy outline around you. You keep casting something, or somebody running by is casting something? I don't know. Um, the other thing I didn't like was uh, 
These tricksters restricted by it's your it's your oh, it's my, thing, it's Kirsten. Joey. Oh, it's him leveling. Uh, He's having a level just because I'm on him. That's another thing. You definitely notice that the pets just randomly level because you're on them. You don't need to move or do anything. But the game is actually still dead enough <laughs> that there wasn't a pile of people piking around in the city just on their pet to level it to max. Uh, yeah, that seemed weird to me. Whispers received. Uh, oi, fala, Portuguese. Um. There's a random guy standing here looking at you. Um, I need and to. And his bird. I, I can't work out how to chat to this guy and say, um, no. Hold your alt right and right click. Or right click on him, perhaps. Is that him there? Yeah, yeah, that's him. Uh, whisper, huh? See, always polite. Why would you really, really think I spoke Portuguese? Is is Betsy Booperoo a Portuguese name? Let me know in the comments if it is. <laughs> I hope it is. I, yeah, <laughs> just random. I didn't. I didn't get to tell. Maybe he's just into the wee folk. Hmm. It is. It's a lot better than a lot of the games we've played recently uh, for being a free-to-play game. And it might be quite interesting someone who's really into the collection aspect, but I was into the mounted combat and things, which I'm not going to get. Yeah. It is probably one of the better free-to-play options by the look of it. Yeah, but. yeah. I can admit it's one of the better free-to-play options, but it just never caught me right from the beginning. However, I think there are still better games out there that you could play. Well, I've been Mr. Gruffle, that's been Prairie Louie, this has been Riders of Icarus. I finally remember the name, I've been trying to think of it all day. Uh, anytime I go to say it, I just can't think of it, it's Riders of something. That a terrible outro, wasn't it? Do it again. Ah, no, I can't. This game doesn't deserve a second outro. Except maybe we'll make that the outro. <laughs> this guy is like... Dude, you've just ruined the outro. Yeah.